Dolphin Slash, definitely a better tool than sort of the, the Aether from Krom. Yes. And I think the offstage play is going to be important too. So I think those two slight changes of pace are going to be huge. But we're going to be see if they're oh. huge enough. So far, double parry. Dude, see, like, right there, you just, like, do Zare grab. And it's, like, a lot of it's a lot of coverage, honestly. And he has to be sure that uh, as he's doing his aggression, that he keeps it uh, nice and safe. Because one of the biggest things that we always know, no matter what game it is, Luigi will mash that A button for that Nair at any moment where he thinks that your combo's not true. And you don't want to get caught up in the mix of that. And as much as Luigi wants to get in, he still needs to space his way too. Gotta get the grab, gotta rack on a little bit of damage. There's nothing tr uh, true beyond that. But I like the way that he's using the Zare and then the fireballs, but like we just saw there, Kool-Aid wants to space him out, but he's just outranging him while playing Luigi. Right. Oh no. Well, could have been an F smash, honestly. Okay, Big back. Oh my god. Love it. Huge, huge tool for Luigi. A lot of people said they didn't like it, but oh. it, what? Oh. Yep. I think I like well, it. I told you he, that you know the fact that he gets the down throw into down B. He's been consistently stealing stocks all oh, day. No. Stealing but, stocks. Yeah, Kool Aid making sure he lets him know, like, hey, look. I know you may be catching me on shield with a lot of these grabs, but you better not be holding that too much exactly. on me. Exactly. Yeah, you better not let me catch you in shield, bro. Ooh. Oh, all right. Love that. Oh my God, what a punish. There we go, the punch is coming out. And look how quickly it disappears. You can just do it again, man. Yep. It is deceptively uh, low cooldown because the frame data on Luigi's grab is actually the same as a regular grab. Like most other grabs that have a really long recovery, right. but Luigi's is the same. So even though it looked very bad when the game first came out, this grab is actually probably one of the best in the game. Digging deep there. He's going to get the tech, but he's not going to make it back. Something big, a big, big difference between stock to one, stock two. He was getting a lot of grabs. He was catching them all the time. This following stock, Kool-Aid has been throwing out hitboxes everywhere. He has not been sitting in shield, and he has not gotten grabbed, and he has a huge lead because of it. All right, but sadly, Luigi still has some fundamental flaws. A little too slow for the punish on the roll-on, so we see these dash attacks, and they're just not doing a whole lot in the grand scheme of things. Laid retreating to the platforms a lot. He doesn't really have a lot of action besides jump up fireball when Laid sit on the platform. And the thing I'm noticing from Lay right now is that he's opting to, to, to run at Scott right now. He has no reason to. He doesn't right, need right. to. And if he finds himself uh, on the losing end at some point in this match, I promise you he will sit back and wait. He has always been no stranger to playing out that lame game if he feels like it's the highest percentage chance that he will the, win. The clank with the down B saved Scott's life and knocked Lay into the blast zone almost. This is bad, though. I know what we're sitting there talking about. The misfire. Oh, that is exactly what he Damn. needed to be able to make that back. RNGs is coming through to give him a help. But he's forced back off stage. Late, late does have the extra stock. He can he afford to play off stage like that. Oh, wow. It could have been it. Once again, though, Late is just going for the Dancing Blades instead of these F smashes to punish the dash attack. Still living. One. Oh. oh. Game set. The man said it. Scott with a smile on his face, though. I think he knows exactly what he has to do. Yep. That, that, that's not something like a big detriment to Scott when he's not playing right, is you can see the visible frustration mm -hmm, when, he, yeah. when he notices that things aren't working. But the fact that he was smiling it off, I'm looking forward to this upcoming game. I want to know whatever it is he thinks he figured out to deal with the way that Kool-Aid was pressuring him at the end of that game there. Also, something I mentioned earlier with Bobby Wasabi, get the down B counter going because we're going to be seeing a whole lot more of them. I think we had maybe four in that match. It, the, the, I have not been seeing many Luigi's utilizing it the way that he has been. And he's been using, using it on ledge coverage. To confirm, and on really bad defensive options. I'm really liking the way he's using it so far. All right, well, we're going to see some more of it here on Smashville. A pretty interesting stage choice. I think Smashville, if I really could simplify it, I always say, like, characters are better on neutral, good on FD, but characters with better stage control, I think, are better on Smashville. So I think Scott... That's a pretty good idea oh. what he wants to do here. He just wants to stay in control of the match, but he can't do that if he's dead. See that, man? I was telling you earlier, Kool-Aid has been practicing this offstage game relentlessly, whether it was with me or Jayan on Wi-Fi or anyone else for that matter. He's been really incorporating it and going offstage super deep. My man's in the magnifying glass. You don't even think he's going to make it back, and then lo and behold, zoom, right back to the edge. And you see he's really committing to going off stage too, and that forward smash is going to dig him so deep, he, he just has to hold that stock loss. Yep. And we talked about that with Maddie G. When you're Krom, you go off, you get one good shot at an aerial, and you got to get back to stage. Mm -hmm. When you're Lucina, you can hold on the ledge, drop down there, right? Still make it back with Dolphin Slash. Still have the counter. There's so many more things you can do, and I think we're seeing all of them come out in this game too. Yeah, that, that, um, that, that smile and confidence that came from the last game, I don't know where it disappeared to, but because... 
Yikes. Uh, <laughs> Kool-Aid has been running a train on everything that his recovery, and he really held off on it in that last game, but I think he's just realizing, yeah, I know what I said. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Call Anita. Hey, man, yeah. Is that what he said? Uh, that, that is indeed what he said. Check the books. Call Jam. Down. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, down tilt. What else? Okay, he's trying to pressure him at the ledge, but honestly, at this point for him, for Sky, down B might get a stock for him, but he still has two more to burn through. I do know he knows uh, how to pretty consistently get the zero to death, so this could be made in the blink of an eye if he's able to land one on the lathe, but we'll see. He's fishing for a grab right now. Possibly, I don't know. The rage could affect the combo as well. 93%. Not nothing in terms of rage. And now Lade going for it all, but going back to Lade. Oh, and able to get stage positioning as well after that whole scramble there. Keeping him trapped at the ledge here. What's the option? Breathing to jump the back air. Should take it. It is going to take it. That is a swift game, too, compared to that first set. Oh, boys. I like to pride myself in my player knowledge. I like to interview the players throughout the day, see how they're feeling, see what they're doing. I have it on good authority from Scott himself. He's been cooking some other characters. I think we might see him still winner side of the bracket, if I'm not mistaken, but we might see a little change of pace in terms of characters. Try and shake it up a little bit because I just do not think that Luigi's doing that. Uh, it's like I was saying before, you know, he's kind of had a little bit it. of character like change ups recently. Yep. And being behind yet, yeah, I'm gonna go to Mario. I, that one actually surprises me a little bit Same. because of the other characters that he's been playing. And he said he was working on Wolf. That's who I thought he was gonna pick. I was ready for it, but Mario, according to my good friend Dark Wizzy, who is my friend and top player, <laughs> <laughs> he said that this matchup is this matchup hard. is balls. This matchup, this matchup hard. sucks. He it said sucks. He was, he was playing Leo, and going even with Marth, Leo switched to Lucina. He didn't win after that. That was it for my man Wizzy. Uh, you know, some, like the Brawl arch uh, archetypes have always had trouble with swords, but Mario has, no matter what, to deal with that sword. Right. Like the, the body size is almost exactly the same. Now, the fact that he has to commit and go in as even more than when he did with Luigi, because yeah. Luigi had the zoning with the Zair and the neutral beam. Maybe he has something cooked in the back of his reign, but so far, I don't know. <laughs> looking all right, honestly. In the grand scheme of things, I mean, even it up. pretty even. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't know. Across games, most matchups don't really change uh, super hard unless like, a character gets like a crazy new tool or something like that. But Mario always traditionally has struggled against Marth and uh, Lucino even in this case. And there we go, we have Scott Nyan off the top there. But you know, the biggest thing has been for these sword characters, the way to beat them has always been to, to bait and punish, right? You have right. to get them to swing and you gotta run in in that opening and get your damage in. But with a character like Mario, he's not slow, but he's not super fast and his arms are so stubby that getting that hit means he has to run that much more deeper into them. And by that time, they usually have a chance to react. Exactly, if you're not cashing out the big damage when your opportunities are there, you're not gonna get back in. And the way that Kool-Aid's playing, he's playing max distance, perfectly out of range and forcing him off stage yet again. That is that he's not gonna make it back. He ripped his jump. Unfortunate, man. It's just how it is. Sometimes, you know, the, the the game just sort of makes it hard to even play. Like, you have to play, Flambo, like you said, you have to play. Right. Because so many moves are, in general, faster, have less cooldown. And a, it's a testament to the way that Kool-Aid has really adjusted. Like, that first game, yeah. Scott was looking so much better. Kool-Aid has just download EXE. He has everything in the books right now. Uh, so far, I would like to see Scott make a comeback because I love reverse three oh, I'm but waiting for the jump off the ledge shield breaker from Kool-Aid. We already saw two. Oh, no, he wanted it all. Uh, yeah, he, he's, okay. he's digging he's digging deeper uh, the disrespect. I was going to say, he's trying to get get those clips for the sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> got to get the highlight reels exactly, ready going. Exactly, you got it, man. Shouts to the house, by the way. Get ready for the highlight reels and the tournament. I'm already looking forward to it. I had no idea you no guys problem. were international considering, uh, you know, it's still in Japanese. Oh, right. Yeah. No, it's just on brand. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh I like that. Grab. I like that a lot. Don't find that. Falling upper to up tilt. Gonna get a three piece combo, but uh, no drink with that one. My man gonna right. go ahead and go ahead and grab ledge. Ooh, holding down to get those few extra coins. Give me a lunch money, kid. Mm, the purple coins, too. Nice touch, by the way. But it's looking bad. And like F tilt at the ledge will be enough. Going for down tilt, in fact. Oh, that was wild. I like it. Oh. some blade not connecting. F tilt at the ledge, not enough. I'm a liar. More at 11. You see, Kool like Kool Aid's just walking in. Like no matter what he puts at him, yes. every single trade is positive for Kool Aid. He's gonna die. So he's just, uh, catching the jump that time. He's gonna get the up air, and that's a swift reel. 
What was that? Was, did you just pat his shoulder? What, 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 what kind of... What? I think... I'm pretty sure he just took the headset off. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Did, I'm just like, did they pound? Actually, I don't know. Devin's got the replay. Maybe I said, we'll we, got, we got the camera. Let's see what happens. Right. Catches the jump here. Very smart. And, yeah, uh, yeah, takes the headset right, off. He took the headset off. Gets oh. that. Yep, there it is. He's he's calm, man. Thank took the headset you. off and he was like, cool. and then he, <laughs> that, that's what oh, I was doing. He would just, just like like patted his peck and like walked away. That's why I was like, is that a pound or can I not yeah. see his hand or something? No, it's but the peck, the peck pump. <laughs> you know, it's like a